It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Lidl. It's by Stuart Brewing Company and it's a can of their Crazy Haze, Hazy IPA. Now I was passing Lidl, I was picking up some chicken Kievs of all things. Um, I actually went into Aldi. I'll get to that in a moment. 440 milliliter can, 5.1% ABV. Uh, it looks like to me that this has become part of Lidl's uh, full-time range of beer. I've seen this in Lidl's over the last two months. Um, it, it's a beer, I suppose, that did really well in their craft beer festivals that they do, their regional seasonal craft beer festivals in Lidl. And they've decided to promote it to their kind of mainstream range, which is testament, I suppose, to Stuart Bruin and Aldi uh, Lidl for making that decision to put it on their shelves. But yeah, very quickly, um, I popped into Aldi for my chicken Kievs, couldn't find them, so I had to pop into Lidl. And incidentally, whilst I was in Lidl, yeah, I thought, yeah, let's pick this up, let's pick this up. So, let's get the can out, into a glass and see what we get. It was in the range of about £1.50, £1.60 a can, this one. I think what these budget supermarkets do, and I'm going to categorise the budget supermarkets into Aldi, Lidl, and then you've got places like B&M and Home Bargains, which also I kind of put in the same bracket. You've got the big four supermarkets, which now, confusingly, Aldi are one of those. Um, so you've got the big four supermarkets. Let's, let's, let's call it like the old school ones. So it would have been Tesco's, Morrison's, Sainsbury's and Asda. Now, they all sell their craft beer. Confusingly, again, though, as they sell it a little bit cheaper, they do like, I think they do two for four pounds, something like that. But generally, if you go into Tesco, you're going to buy a can of craft beer, it's going to cost you three pound. Three pound for a can of craft beer. Now, what these budget supermarkets have done is gone, right, okay, we'll do it at one pound sixty. That's nearly half the price of a Tesco craft beer or a Max and Spencer's craft beer or a Sainsbury's craft beer. They've gone, right, we're going to nearly chop it in half and give it to you for half price because that's what the discount supermarkets do. The question is, what is it like? Is it any good? So we've got a one finger white head. That's di it is dissipating um, quite quickly. They've called it Crazy Haze, which um, I'm not going to go as far as saying it's crazy. Uh, but it, it, it looks quite interesting. <clears throat> it's definitely hazy. Uh, it's amber in colour. It looks okay. It looks okay. The, the head's struggling a little bit as I'm rolling it round in the glass. It really doesn't want to... I mean, I mean I'm being quite rigorous here. It doesn't want to kind of build itself too much, but it looks okay. It looks okay. A um, little bit of carbonation. Is there any, there's no sediment in the bottom of the glass. Let's get the aroma. I've done quite a lot of these. Craft Beer Festival beers from Lidl. And they all have this kind of same, kind of generic. It smells slightly sour, kind of a slightly kind of Like there's some orange cordial or something in there. It smells almost chemically. It's like like a chemical aroma in there. 
What I'm trying to say is it's, it's not the most inviting beer I've stuck my nose to. You're not like getting lovely oats and wheat and hops. It's, it's, it, it smells like it's been bashed together in a chemical factory. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It's not very good. It, it's not very good. If you're a, if you're a craft beer drinker and and, and you like your well-made craft beer, this is definitely not for you. This is definitely not for you. Um, if you're into your verdants and your cloud waters and your dayers, you know you know how a well-brewed beer is put together. Then this is definitely not for you. Um, You'll be standing there with the same face that I've got pulling. I imagine. I can't see what my face looks like, but I can tell I'm pulling a face. Um, <clears throat> you'll be doing the same thing as me, kind of like, oh, what have I got into here? It, it, it almost tastes like a headache. It almost, ta it almost tastes like a hangover. I suppose on the plus side, if if you're new to craft beer, if you've got a friend in work, say, who's been banging on about craft beer and you think, oh, OK, I'll dip my toes in, I'll try a craft beer. And you pick this up from Lidl because it's cheap and you don't want to spend too much money getting into craft beer. You want to kind of do it with a budget conscious sense first and foremost then you might like it you might go oh that's different to carling and foster's or worthington's cream flow you might like it but i still think there's going to be people who go actually i'd, I, I'd rather drink a a clean tasting pilsner and I think that's the pro. I think I think um, craft beer in general, especially in the UK, um, I think it's hit that that problem, if you like. Like if say I went to Lidl and I wasn't reviewing this beer, I would pick it up next to some of the Lidl pilsners. And I would go, nah. And I would pick up a pilsner. I would pick up a pearl and back a pilsner or some of some of Lidl's pilsners because their lagers in Lidl, fair play, especially the German made pilsners, Patronus Weiss beer, they're pretty decent. They're pretty decent beers for what you're getting. And to be honest with you, they're probably a little bit cheaper than this. Um, craft beer so, <coughs> pardon me so i think that's where i think that's where craft beer is maybe running into a little bit of trouble now is that is that there's there's beer going into the discount supermarkets that's, that, that, that's really just not very good and they're sitting next to pilsners from germany and their budget, they're cheap, they're cheaper than this. And, and 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 you're thinking to yourself, all day long, all day long, I would rather pick up a pearl and back, a green can of pearl and back of Pilsner, pack of four, pack of six, whatever they sell them, however they sell them, over this can of chemically smelling, chemically tasting, Crazy, hazy IPA. 
I think 2023 is going to be a big year in the brewing world. I really do. I think um, I think there's going to be a lot of people who need to get their kind of... Not a lot of people, but I certainly think the people who put their beers into discount supermarkets, I think they need to, need to get their act together. They need to either put something in that's really good and make a massive loss over it and then just promote their Stuart Brewing Company for argument's sake that way. Say, hey, look at us. We make great beer and it's cheap as chips and it's in little and then promote the brewery that way. Free marketing, free promotion. Or they just forget about it. Or they forget about it. Because for me, just a few years ago, I love Stuart Brewing Company. Everything they did was fantastic. Everything they did was incredible. Now, I see Stuart Brewing Company because they're so interlinked and because they're so close now with Lidl. I look at their beers now with trepidation. And it's really sad to say, it's really sad to say that you look at, you look at a brewery's beers with trepidation that, that once were a brilliant brewery because they're so interlinked with a discount supermarket. I really don't like this. I really don't like it. It's just overly, it's overly bitter, it's overly astringent. There's slight sour flavours coming through. It's a mess. It's a mess, Stuart Brewing Company. And, and I don't know. Well, I'll leave it up to you, and I'll leave it up to you guys. But if you want to, you know, maybe, maybe the damage is done. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But, but, but my message to Stuart Brewing Company, if anybody's watching, is that I won't, I won't be buying this. I'll be buying the the, the cheap cans of pills that they're in Lidl's because they're they're much better. They're much better. For me, that's a two out of ten. That's a dreadful beer. Dreadful beer. Two out of ten. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.